Hello everybody, in this video I want to explain to you everything you need to know about Nurbash, a support hero in the game Predecessor. And I played with him quite a lot back in the Paragon days and I referred to him back then as a moving healing potion. That being said, of course, it has much more to offer than that. Alright, let's dive into it and see whether Nurbash is worth your time and whether it's a good support character. Keep in mind I made many guides and more advanced guides would follow so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Let's begin. So as you can see, Narbash is a pure support character and you should probably treat it as such. As you can see, it's more focused on ability power and durability. Now keep in mind this is over the time of the access. Uh, we have uh, Lieutenant uh, Balika, we have Muriel, we have Narbash, we have Richter and we have Decker as support characters. Of course, more will come in. Now you probably noticed something that uh, him and Richter are the biggest one among the bunch. Now in this case you can see they are also more durable than the others, however they are also bigger and making them bigger make them easier to hit, always remember that, bigger hitbox. Now they are also melee characters compared to the others which are range, which means they are also uh, designed to be more durable because they are going to fight uh, in most cases in the front line. Even their ult were designed for that purpose. Now, it doesn't mean that they have to be in the front all the time, there are other tanky characters in the game that are not support characters. The initial placement is in the dual lane, where the gold buff is located. All right, Always look for the gold buff at the side of the map, it can be either the right side or the left side. And you should be there supporting the carry, help the carry get the last hit, help the carry secure objectives and make sure the carry stays alive. In no ways take the last hit, uh, because again, the carry needs it for XP and gold in order to level up faster. You get your uh, XP from actually helping, assisting, getting eliminations, but you also have opportunities. For example, when the carry goes to the base, you can do those last hits. So next we're going to go over all the abilities so you can completely understand what each one does. Keep in mind, there's a trick here, uh, which is about the passive, we're going to talk about it as well. So Nebrush has something called Rhythm, and basically when you use your abilities in your basic attacks, you gain more Rhythm. You can see the rhythm at the bottom left corner of your abilities. So you can see this uh, near the queue, there's a zero right now, there's a drum icon. This is the one that shows your rhythms. Then we can see that when I'm using abilities, especially when I'm near allies, you can see that it goes up. It will max out at 24. Now it will also fall down uh, after 10 seconds individually. So I made this little chart to explain it to you. So you can see, for example, in the red, when I activate it again, two, but after 10 seconds, it goes to zero. Again, if after a few seconds, I activated the six, uh, it will get to zero after the first one, because again, it takes 10 seconds for the rhythm to expire. So here's an example, I hit once, this will expire after 10 seconds, all right? And do another one, I get a total of four. Now we wait for the first one to expire, 10 seconds, expires, and then after I do the second one, 10 seconds from that, it expires as well. So this is a clip show you how important it is to get the 24 stack to continue generating mana using your abilities. So even if you are low, you continue supporting your teammates. Now you can see in terms of abilities, how it affects and buff each one. Uh, for example, Song of the People, you get more healing each bit, all right? Keep in mind, when you activate the ability, you also get, uh, for each tick, you're going to get also, uh, you see, each second, you're going to get one extra rhythm. For the March, you see, by activating it, it gives you six rhythm, but you're going to get uh, decay movement speed for two seconds, all right? Plus 0 0.2 seconds per rhythm stack, all right? Crash Bang Boom can see you get a nearby enemies are slowed by 40% and take damage plus 2% uh, percent per rhythm stack. Magical damage over 10 hits. All right. If you look at Thank, you can see that Thank cooldown is reduced by 1% per rhythm stack. As you can see, also grind two rhythm stacks on hit. So in general, what does this mean for our Nurbash? Well, basically be active, use your basic ability often. Stay close to your teammates again, especially when you are full stack because they give you mana region. Focus on also getting faster cooldowns so you can use your ability often. 
time your abilities at the right moment to make the best of it, and maybe even sometimes use it when it's not really needed, just to get those extra stacks. Preferably have it before team fights, 24 stacks, so once in case you get close and tank, you can benefit from that extra mana regen. And of course, extra buffs. Always pay attention to how much stacks you have, and of course, get more mana focus items so you can play with it more. Because again, remember when you use those abilities, it's gonna cost mana, of course. So if you didn't know about that and you play Narbash and didn't do well, well, make sure to pay attention to it because this is one of the key mechanics of Narbash, the rhythm. So don't forget about that. All right, abilities. Now, March, which is assigned for the Q key by default, is one of the most versatile abilities for Narbash. You can make creeps move faster, you know, those little minions, and alongside allies. Uh, you can use it to disengage. You can use it to help others or you chase enemies. You can get back to the fight faster and also help teammates change lanes faster. Also, making them move faster make them less likely to get hit. And keep in mind, this is great for supporting the carry because again, just in case you are pushing through well, you can help the carry just move to the other lane faster so they you know, can surprise other teammates and then go back quickly to your lane. Aside from that, it breaks you six rhythm stacks on use. So basically we use it, it's kind of really nice buffing the buff because it gives you six rhythm stacks and of course it will increase uh, the movement speed per rhythm stack. So again, just from the buff you get 4.8 seconds and if you add the default two seconds, you get a total of 6.8 seconds of the movement speed time. Next one is Songs of My People. This is a healing ability. If you remember, you're kind of confused between the E or Q. E, remember E healing, E healing. So when you press E, it will heal you and your nearby allies. The buff itself, again, just the buff will give you 24 uh, times 0.5, give you plus 20 HP a second. And it also grants you one rhythm per second when it's active. This is great ability to help your teammates continue fighting instead of going to the base to heal. And it's a lifesaver also during team fights. Now it's good also to make sure to heal during channeled ult so uh, enemies who are vulnerable like Ginon here when fight to ult, although it doesn't stop from enemies to stunning him and cancel his channel ult ability. The tank is a stick that you throw, very useful again for disrupting ults and also stunning running enemies or if you disengage, make sure enemies don't run and catch you up. And I stopped counting how many times I actually killed with it. Let's take a look at a few highlights. Now, not that my goal is to take kills for my teammates, but sometimes it's very satisfying to kill with Nurbash. Yeah, you even get a double kill. Double kill. <laughs> now keep in mind, because you have the stun, because it's very easy to aim, because you can speed yourself up, especially when you have a higher stack for longer, and because you have blink, you can roam the jungle more safely and mark enemies down and put words deep in. Now, Nurbish all combines everything together. First of all, again, when you channel the drum, it gives you 30% damage reduction. Keep in mind, time it right, because you want to be closer to enemies to slow them down. They're also going to take damage and increase damage when you have rhythm stack. It's a magical damage, by the way. Uh, with the final hit knocking up all enemies, the stunning them for 1.5 seconds. This is great all to activate when there are many enemies near you, especially kind of du during the team fights, and you can use extra speed to reposition yourself better. And you want to actually hit because again, you get two rhythm stacks each hit. So you can continue on buffing yourself and your teammates up with higher buffs when you do so. So make sure to time it right, especially if you're building around stunning enemies. And you can continue this actually stun if you throw your thunk, you know, the stick that you actually throw. So you can continue stunning enemies for a long duration.
are when it comes to items uh invest in those that make you more durable again you are big you're gonna get hit and you want to tank uh and make sure to stay alive again to support your teammates basically so investing in health uh magical armor items that have uh, magical armor physical armor can make you more durable also focus on items that have ability haze so you can use this is basically cooldown reduction that can increase your ability to use your abilities more often also you want to go also with heal and shield uh, power again all synergize well with your defensive and buff capabilities also pay attention to the different buffs that you get with some of the items we're going to look for example at crystal tier healing or shielding allies heroes guarantee you both 40 magical power and 20 ability haste for five seconds another one uh, if you look at uh, vanguardian nearby allies heroes gain 10 physical armor and 10 magical armor all right uh, another one from silver bracelet casting your ultimate grants you shield based on your bonus health for five seconds while the shield holds gain cc immunity upon removal it explodes dealing magical damage to nearby enemies based uh, on its initial strength now the best place for nerve is to be around as many allies as possible of course you need to prioritize because some if somebody is low and is maybe on the side you need to go and help them as well uh, but the reason for that is again because you get better buffs again because of more allies near you uh, your ability again to buff is near kind of it's a big radius as you can see so again you can't really be far from them so try to be around where the radius actually surrounds as many allies as possible and of course you need to understand there's also items that give you different buffs and you want to make the best out of it and if you decide to go even with more durability and less power which i personally prefer uh you can actually be a very very powerful tank uh which this is the way i actually enjoy playing with him just kind of be like a big rock and let enemies try to hit me while buffing my allies and let them uh, kill enemies while they focus on me now in terms of crest i personally prefer the near uh, war boots because again i can uh store uh damage received and deflect it also uh, razorback uh, again is very good i want to be more tanky basically now i can go with tainted totem for example if i want to heal better but the thing is that when you're fighting you see that the melee uh are already pretty durable uh, and although basically again healing is good for everybody some for adc can be maybe out of range where i am so i prefer being more durable than trying to get something that impair the healing of the enemies uh, and increase the healing of uh nerbash uh, but again there's just personal preference depends of course on the heroes in play and your teammates you might want, want to change that and to be honest with you nothing feels more satisfying when you see you know people uh who play you know dps and damage try to maximize the damage and you in some way just cancel it and just make their burst or whatever they're using kind of uh you know partially useless and if you support your team well in team fight there's some item that can uh you know when uh, the team kills enemies allows you to even buff everybody up near your area so being able to try to nullify that uh, burst damage and try to keep your teammates alive and make enemies go like what but i'm not dealing that so much damage what's happening this is a great feeling when you are playing support and that's it for this beginners guide i hope you enjoyed this one and found this one insightful and useful if so please give it a like and subscribe and press the bell button to get notified when i release more advanced guide for nurbash and also if you are trying other support characters or other characters in general check out my channel there are plenty of guys there and again thanks for watching i see you on the next one cheers